When we start out about pH, the first thing I'd like to say is there's two main parts of pH in our body that we deal with regularly. And for people who don't know what pH is, pH is basically the measurement of any fluid, whether it's an alkaline fluid or an acid fluid, and it's measured on a scale from zero to 14. So zero would mean extremely super acidic, 14 means very hyperalkaline. And within our body, pH is important for many different things, but how we measure it is in two main ways. There's the pH of our blood, which is called our plasma pH, and then there's the pH of our body, which is often called extracellular fluid or interstitial fluid pH. And the reason that's really important to understand is that those two things are completely kind of separate. They can affect each other to degrees, but they're different. And so the blood pH of our body has to be maintained at a very narrow range of about 7.365 on a pH scale, which means it's just above neutral, slightly alkaline. And then our body pH can fluctuate a little more with our lifestyle. Now, blood pH is, is really important. It stays static, and nothing that we do is gonna really change our blood pH, because if that changes by even a little bit, you're in serious health crisis, you're if it changes by too much, you can die. And so I always say Yoli really doesn't alter blood pH at all. And really nothing you can do nutritionally besides taking some really severe poisons alters pH of your blood. So what Yoli does is it protects the pH of the blood by basically helping a lot of buffer systems in your body work better. And that's where the body pH comes in. So the interstitial fluid or our body pH, that goes up and down more by what we do in our life. So things like stress, creates our body pH to become more acidic. Things like excessive exercise, all of those things, our standard American diet, so refined carbohydrates, soda, coffee, all that stuff that we all eat on a daily basis, brings our body's pH down. Now our body is equipped to handle that, so our body's gonna start doing things to protect our pH of our body as this starts coming down. One of the first things that we'll start to do as your body pH starts to lower and starts to threaten the blood pH, your body will go out and start robbing minerals from what's called the alkaline reserves. And that's your bones, your muscles, tissue, your cell membranes. So basically your body will go out and rob minerals from your bones through a complicated process, bring it into your system to help alkalize your body. Over time, and when most of us are living this lifestyle over our whole life, you start to exhaust those alkaline reserves and after a while your body just can't keep robbing from them. One of the second ways it does this to help protect itself is it has to start storing some of that acid away outside of the system. And the place it mainly will store it is fat cells. So again, this is all a little oversimplified, but uh, fat cells, a lot of people don't realize one of their main functions in our body is storage of toxins outside of our system so they can't get in there and screw things up and, and hurt our health. And so as you start storing fat or start storing acidic waste in those fat cells, fat cells start to grow, that's what they do. And as fat cells get larger, what happens is they become de facto endocrine organs, so technically they get turned on, which means as fat cells reach a certain size, they actually begin to produce and secrete hormones. And the main hormones they produce and secrete are estrogen, cortisol, which is a stress hormone in our body, and leptin. And kind of the ironic thing about leptin is, leptin is actually a hormone that's designed to go to our brain and tell our body to burn fat as energy. But as you're producing too much leptin or overproducing leptin from our fat cells growing, it actually burns out those receptors. So basically our body is totally incapable of burning fat as energy. So as you gain weight and get bigger, your body's going down a negative cycle that it can't really come out of unless you take some dramatic action to break those cycles. So that's where we see a lot of people really working hard to exercise and to eat right. And they, and they just can't get it done. It's because in order to break those cycles, you gotta do some more foundational things. And in my idea, that's what Yoli, especially Alkali, really does, is it helps your body work better to control those acid base levels. So Alkali itself isn't really changing the acid base level, it's allowing your body to do it more efficiently. As you take Alkali, your body is gonna stop that cycle. So as you produce waste from what you're doing in your body, you're able to just buffer it out of your system. So first of all, you're gonna stop robbing and you're gonna stop storing, which is really great. So you stop that cycle. The second thing it does is it actually will start restoring those alkaline reserves. So 
say you're 20 years old, you've been robbing from those things for 20 years, you're gonna start restoring some of those minerals back to your bones, back to your muscle tissue, back to your cell membranes, and that repairs a lot of things. So that's one of these things where people say, I feel so much better, my aches and pains are getting better, whatever inflammation is going down. It's because you're giving some of those mineral bases back to where they need to be. Secondly, what it does is it creates what's called a con concentration gradient or a chemical gradient. So inside your fat cells, it's acidic, and in the fluid that's in and around those cells, it's alkaline. So it creates a gradient to where the acidic waste in the fat cell actually gets drawn out into, this, into the fluid and then you excrete it out of your body. So it literally shrinks fat cells that way, which is really cool. And we oftentimes will see people when they start the Better Body System, within a very short amount of time, being visually thinner, and people think that's weird, but it's because we're, we're shrinking those fat cells from day one. And as you shrink them, it turns them off so that they're not producing those hormones anymore. So you're effectively just shutting that negative cycle down right away. And over time, you continue to do that. And then also through the other parts of the system, you're gonna be burning fat as energy, you're gonna be raising your, your vitamin and mineral uh, content, getting sufficient nutrition. It really just takes off and it's kind of, instead of that momentum taking you in a downward spiral, you turn that ocean liner around, get the momentum going the right way, and it's sustainable over life that way. You really are gonna be actually getting better as you lose weight. And so I'm kind of a militant guy because I think this stuff is so important and I'm generally not a big fan of weight loss. And that's why I say with Yoli, it's really not a weight loss system at all. It's a health gain system with a side effect of weight loss. And it gives people what they want because most people are more motivated by the weight loss side than the health side. So it gives them what they want, which is weight loss, but it sneaks in what they need, which is nutrition for optimal health so that they can live a long and healthy life. And that's really the exciting part. When people see what that feels like, they might come in wanting to lose weight, but when they see what it actually is like to live a life when you're actually healthy, it changes it. You know, their, their goals start to change from just get into that goal weight where they sacrifice, they start looking at what's life like when I can feel great and I can look into my future, a long and healthy, happy life. And that's really why I love Yoli is because it can really help change people that way. And I've seen it. In my practice, I've been uh, really blessed enough to work with uh, well over a thousand people now in just a short time since we started. And I'm one of these analytical guys who really likes to track things. And we're seeing that in that large group of people, about a 90% success rate with people reaching their health goals. Some of those goals are weight loss. Some of them are health goals. And 90% and is off the charts from anything I've ever done anyway. And the other thing we're seeing is a, is a high 90% compliance rate, meaning that people who start follow it through to the end because they get good results, because they start feeling better, and because there's a wonderful support system with this company that allows them to feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves. I just really think it's something that can take over the world and really change it for a better place, which we need. I have felt for a long time that our country needs kind of a giant collective slap upside the head when it comes to health because as a, as a society, we're getting sicker and sicker all the time. We have the best doctors. We have the best facilities, but in, in reaction to it, we can't wait till we're sick to care about things. One of the concepts I, I like to throw out there is, is when you're planning for health, everybody understands the concept of saving money for retirement. That when you start earlier and you save money regularly, you're gonna have a nest egg when you retire. Nobody expects to wait till you're 65 and then try to save a million dollars or $10 million all at once. But with health, a lot of times people treat it that way. So health is exactly the same way. The earlier you start caring about your health and taking action, and the more consistently you take action over time to be healthy, the better health you're likely to have as you grow old. And so there's many ways to put it. I always like it's a, it's a term that was coined by one of my mentors, Ben Lerner, is you can choose the cruise ship or the nursing home for the last years of your life. And I think most people, if they had the choice, they would choose the cruise ship over the nursing home. The trouble is you have to make that choice every day and the earlier and the sooner you start making that choice, the more likely you're gonna to be to be on that cruise ship. So that's a big deal to me.